2019 has been an amazing year. We opened in March and since then we have managed to double the visitor numbers. We finally finished an amazing conservation and restoration project. We've embarked on a really ambitious programme of exhibitions, working with fabulous artists who have a clear connection and inspiration from Sone. And we've embarked on a really exciting programme of education and outreach. We've managed to get fabulous press coverage, raising the profile of Pitsanger and laying the foundations for drawing yet wider and more diverse audiences. Sir John Soane, one of Britain's most influential architects, he built this rather wonderful country villa here. Soane left Pitsanger in 1810 and over the years the house has been extended, it's been painted over, it's lost its spirit, it's lost its soul. So the conservation project has slowly peeled back the layers to get back to the original Soane design. So the house restored as close as we could to how it was in this period, 1800 to 1810, and the parkland surrounding it. We we have taken his legacy as our starting point for our vision to combine the wonderful juxtaposition of the historic house with the contemporary art we have in the gallery and use those two to inspire future generations. We opened with a fantastic exhibition by Anish Kapoor. The link with Soane so clear by light, by form, by reflection and colour. Our second exhibition was to work with the designer and artist, Es Devlin. She created this walk-in chronological map. We are making final preparations for our third exhibition here at Pets Hangout. So in 1802, Soane buys William Hogarth's series of paintings, A Rake's Progress. We're going to bring those paintings back for the very first time, surrounded by a contemporary exhibition, where we have a whole series of really wonderful artists who are reflecting on some of the challenges of living in London today. Absolutely crucial to Pitsanger's vision is to engage as wide and diverse an audience as possible. But also, of course, is our really important learning and outreach programmes. We've been doing this by running schemes for schools, but also engaging other community groups, sufferers from dementia. We've been doing an amazing scheme with a team from the Council Ealing Youth Justice. Having worked on this project since the very beginning, I've had many highs and lows. My absolute high was on the day that we threw the doors open to see the faces of people coming and rediscovering Pitsanger. And that was really special as I felt that we were able to give Pitsanger back to the community in which we want to be so, so founded.